Did y'all just see that? That may not have been in camera. Look what's behind it. Let's go. That's huge. I bought this package of sports cards for $75 on Shop Goodwill. That's Goodwill's online retailer. The main reason I got it was for what I could see over here. Some of those Sports Illustrated cards. That year, I believe, is Steph Curry's rookie year and Usain Bolt's rookie year as well. And you can see um, Usain Bolt right there on top. I'm hoping that Steph Curry is in there. If Steph Curry's in there, that will pay for the entire lot by itself. All right, let's get into the unboxing. Let's get this package open. All right, so I didn't want to waste y'all's time because honestly, this box, I just went through it for the last like 30, 45 minutes and there was literally almost nothing in it. So I just kept recording and it was just kind of a waste of time because it was all commons outside of these few cards. Here's a couple cards that are pretty nice. Um, the Michael Jordan, Sam Vincent um, dual card where uh, Michael Jordan's wearing number 12. Those cards can be somewhat valuable, especially in good condition. Those can be worth a little bit of money. And then the Mark Jackson um, 1990 NBA hoops card can be valuable, not because of Mark Jackson, but because of who's sitting on the sideline right there. That is the Mendez twins. If you haven't looked into that story, there's a pretty good documentary on um, what they had done. Um, it's kind of wild. So um, viewer discretion is advised, but nevertheless, it is a fairly valuable card. It may fetch anywhere from five to $10. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this box just because we're not going to waste your time going through it. And we'll get on to why we actually bought this lot in the first place, not for that box or the other box that it came with, I believe. Where did it go? I think it was 1992 score. But like I do in every video, I do giveaways. So these will be the two cards I will be giving away in this video. A really cool Sports Illustrated Kobe Bryant 3D uh, motion card. And then the Any Given Sunday insert of Tom Brady from Prestige 2021. Really cool cards. So how to enter, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below whether you like football or basketball more. So I know which one um, to enter you into, either for the Tom Brady or the Kobe. And comment your favorite player in that sport of all time. Good luck. We'll go ahead and get these what appear to be commons out of the way. All right, nothing too much in there. That is a pretty sweet Michael Jordan card. Airtime departure, airtime arrival, gate three, and runway two. That's pretty sweet. I like that. It's a cool MJ card. It isn't in great condition, I will say. I was actually going to give this one away, but it's in such poor condition, I'm going to pass on that. All right, let's see. Honestly, there are not many cards in here. I'm kind of assuming the Steph Curry is not in here. Maybe it'll be in this bundle over here, but we'll see. So, sweet Roger Federer, uh, 3D, same as the, the Kobe. That actually, I believe, has some substantial value somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 15 bucks, I believe. I'll drop it in the video um, whenever I do the editing after. Floyd Mayweather, sweet card. Absolutely love this card. Really, really cool card. I didn't realize. Okay, I'm not a boxing person. I'm not a boxing fan necessarily. I like this card a lot, but I didn't realize he's only 147 pounds. That's crazy. Wow. He has a lot of power behind those punches for only 147. I know he's not a huge knockout guy. I know he's more defensive and kind of touches people up, but that really is crazy that he only weighs 147. All right, Usain Bolt. This is a sweet card. Really, really cool card. I actually think this is technically his rookie card for the Sports Illustrated Kids um, cards. I, I'm not kidding. It just brings me back to sitting at the library. They always had the Sports Illustrated Kids in the local library growing up. And I would rush over, pick up whatever Sports Illustrated Kids um, magazines that they had. And for any of the magazines they had at the library, there was only specific ones where you could take stuff out. So rip stuff out that um, could be ripped out and the Sports Illustrated kids always, you could take it out. So I would always rush there, 
see if I, I could be the first one to grab it and rip them out. I wish I still had them because I had so many of them and they actually carry a lot of value in the resale market. But really cool, Usain Bolt card. Oh, sweet, Sean White. I believe that's his skateboarding rookie card. He had a snowboarding rookie card before this, but I do think that is his skateboarding rookie card. That's the 3D, I think it's called Motion, but I'm not positive, it doesn't say it on the back here, but I do believe that is the 3D Motion card. Oh, cool, and then a uh, Carly Lloyd. All of these cards are gonna be worth something. I just don't know exactly how much. I'll drop it, drop it in, like I said before. Um, in editing, but I actually think that could be her rookie card as well for Sports Illustrated Kids. It's a little different than um, just your traditional um, rookie cards. It's obviously not any of their rookie seasons, um, but with how they classify those, that's how they do it. Oh my, I am struggling. Okay. Oh, I was not expecting to see new cards. I, this is the brand new 2023 Tops. I say brand new, not super, super brand new, but brand new a couple months ago. I know next to nothing about hockey cards, so if you see anything in here, let me know, and I can look it up, and depending on the value, I may even just send it straight to you. If it's anything crazy valuable, I may have to keep it, or I can sell it to you for a pretty good cost, but anything that's a few bucks that you really like, I can go ahead and send that directly to you. There's been honestly just a ton of commons in here. You know what? And I'm actually going to wait. I think this is all going to be commons too. I don't want to waste y'all's time. I'll flip through them. And if I pull anything, I will, um, Miss Jacob DeGrom, um, I will show them, but I don't want to waste y'all's time by going through all of those. Let's go ahead and get in to these right here. We'll go with the first little bundle first. Nice little Craig Biggio. Matt Williams, Fleer, I believe that's a rookie card. Yeah, Fleer rookie card. Rondell White, a couple other ultra rookies. Greg Jeffries rookie. Oh, did y'all just see that? That may not have been in camera. Look what's behind it. Let's go. That's huge. That is a huge swing in this. That is awesome. Steph Curry, there is the Stephen Curry rookie card from Sports Illustrated Kids. That is a sweet, sweet card while he was at Davidson, just absolutely tearing up college basketball. I will say, unfortunately, it does have a little chunk out of it on the side, which these can have because kids like myself, a long time ago, just ripping them out and not really caring, not realizing that that one chunk could be a difference of about $1,000. Um these grade in a 10, they are worth serious, serious money. Even at a nine, they, they're still worth serious money. Anything below that, probably better off just keeping them raw. Like, honestly, like most cards these days. But really, really cool. S Stephen Curry, rookie card right there. Love, love, love to see that. I'll drop the price below, but I believe it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 to to $100 in good condition with that little chunk out. I'm assuming I still probably can get about 50 bucks for it because it really, it's not a ton out of the actual card. It's more on the serrated edge. So it's unfortunate, but still really cool card. And honestly, with that chunk out, I may even just PC it because I like this card so much. Derek Jeter, that's a cool 3D motion card. And you know what? Because that Steph Curry was in there, I'm going to go ahead and do another giveaway. The first person to see this Derek Jeter card and comment Derek Jeter in the comment section below will receive this card. Good luck. Nice, Patrick Kane. Is that his rookie, rookie season? Nice, there we go. That may actually be worth some money as well. He's a, one of the best in the modern era. That's awesome. Oh, cool, Derek Rose. That one's in much better condition. I don't think this one's gonna be worth nearly as much, but. 
nonetheless, really cool card while he was playing at Memphis. All right. Flip these over. I have not seen much of anything. That's a cool card. But I have not seen much of anything worth too terribly much other than all those Sports Illustrated cards. I, I believe I was saved by those. And that is why it is so important to buy with what you can see. Not to take massive risks. I've had very few risks, like true risks, where I don't see a single card that is really of value pay off. Because honestly, you get into some really expensive bidding wars with people and you're you're really bidding on like common high end players. So you're you're bidding on things because you see a Michael Jordan card or you see a Kobe Bryant card and you're hoping for these massive insert cards that just aren't there. So it, it is one of those things you want to be very very cautious of before making massive bids on it. It's a nice Tony Kukoc first year Fleer card. Dino Raja. Nice. Main attraction. Cool John Stark sharpshooter. Oh, nice. I don't know if it's worth $8 like that price tag has, but that one actually may be worth a few bucks. Main attraction, Dominique Wilkins. Nice Derek Coleman lottery pick. Inside out, Latrell Sprewell. Oh, nice. Hershey Hawkins. I don't know if that one's worth much. It is his second year card. It, well, technically, it's his rookie card, I believe. It, I know it says rookie sensation, but they did it a little different back then. But that one may be worth a little bit of money. I'll have to take a look. 92 draft pick. I like that card a lot. I need to check that as well because that I haven't seen a whole lot of. Rashid Wallace draft pick. So we're starting at nice. Jason Kidd, Ultra Fleer rookie card. I like that. And then who is that? Dickie Simpson? I can't read that. Simpkins? Dickie Simpkins, I think. Numbered to 6,225. That's crazy that they number those, but either way, cool that we got a actual inserted card. All right, on to the next. Or we actually got a, a numbered card. That's nice to see. Matt Lawton. Good grief. These names are I'm struggling with. Hiawatha, Terrell Wade. I don't know who that is. Brian McRae, Jeff Kent, Junior Felix. Nobody. Nobody. All right. Nobody in that stack. All right. We got one stack left. Hopefully there's someone decent. in this pile kind of helps pay for some of this. Oh, that'd be nice if um, Mariano Rivera, I believe, uh, or was that 91? That may have been 91, not 92, Bowman. He has his really, really sweet um, rookie card where he's in plain clothes. He's in like a polo, looking like a boss. Um, that it's worth serious, serious money because it is fairly rare and is only true rookie card. Charles Johnson, nice card there. Oh, sweet. Trot Nixon, I say a rider. He could play, that's for sure. Trust Brewell, Don Sutton, a couple of those. Dave Parker, Benito Santiago. Oh, Jordan, nice. You know what? I said I wasn't going to give away that other Jordan because it wasn't in good condition. Let's go ahead and give this one away. It's got a $12 price tag. I don't know if it's quite worth $12 anymore, but let's go ahead and give this one away. First person to comment Michael Jordan, the GOAT, in the comment section below will receive this Michael Jordan card. Nice, Clyde Drexler. End to end it. Tyrone Bogues, a.k.a. Muggsy Bogues, rookie card. Nice. And I actually, I got to imagine it's got to be worth more than $5. I don't know that for sure, but great condition. Honestly, eh, it's not, I don't think it's perfectly centered. I was going to say it's in perfect condition, but it does look like it's a little off-centered, maybe by a hair, but still, awesome card to end on.
I didn't want to leave y'all hanging on this side. There were absolutely no cards that were worth anything. All commons. I did pull out this card. I love Oral Hershiser. Look at him. He's kind of looking like a boss. Kind of looking like a goober with those specs. But pretty sweet pinnacle card. But outside of that, there was absolutely nothing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please enter uh, the giveaway. Hopefully you win. Comment below. What's your favorite card? I mean... I think it's obvious for me. My favorite had to have been the Steph Curry. Unfortunately, he was not able to get the dub this year, but there's always next year. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Peace.